G'day everyone, Claire again. So, getting out of the dark ages one word at a time. Well, what do you reckon that means? I actually want to discuss how things are referred to when it comes to people with a disability because obviously that's what I deal with and so that's what I sort of know a bit about. At the moment, we have this word that sort of tends to mean to society, and I don't mean it means it literally, it means it to society as such, to able bodies that don't understand disability, let's just say that, or don't want to accept it or are frightened of it, who are stuck in the dark ages. And this word is special. Now, I would really like to know what is special about our needs, what is special about our education and what is special about our care. Okay, it might be specified to the disability that someone has or it might be tailored to the disability that someone has. has. But what exactly is special about it? Now, special to a bully at school means that they can then call people a sped and that apparently means that they're less of a person. Um, I was actually on a train carriage not so long ago and this middle-aged couple got on the train and they sat quite close to me so I could see, well in particular, the woman's um, face as much as I can see faces. And I had Nancy with me so it was obvious that I had a disability. And this woman glared at me, okay, and I had my able-bodied, I think it was I can't remember if it was a boyfriend or my husband at the time, but one of them, sitting beside me. And um, this woman looked at both of us and, and then stared at me for quite some time, enough time for me to notice. So, you know, probably not that long, but it seemed like a long time, probably only a few seconds, but it was enough for me to notice anyway. And she turned to her partner or whoever he was, I don't know for sure that he was her partner, but... I'm guessing so. And she said, we can't sit in this carriage. It's for special people. And she said it exactly like that. I didn't put my dramatised stuff into it or my spin on it or anything. That was how she said it. And I thought, wow, we really need to get rid of this word. It's a shocking word. Just, Just get rid of it. It's terrible when it comes to anything to do with disability. Just get rid of it. It's terrible. So I thought, well, what can we replace it with that actually makes things better rather than making it worse or putting more labels or putting more blocks in? And the word that I came up with was inclusive. Now imagine if we called it inclusive education. Now where is anyone going to go with that? Where are bullies going to go with that, for example? I mean, inclusive education includes them too. So (laughs) what ammo have they got not only that but people like that woman on the train if the carriage was called an inclusive carriage then she's really got nowhere to go with that one you know because all carriages are inclusive these are just some examples of the reason why I want to change the word special to inclusive and I'm sure you can think of more Um, yourselves and I'd love to hear them too so please leave me your comments and let's have a discussion about this because I think that In order for our world to move forward or our society to move forward, we need to change wording because words are powerful things as much as some people don't believe so. They are powerful things. And if we can change the wording so that it's more positive and more forward thinking and, you know, gets rid of some of these barriers, then why wouldn't we? And let's make it more politically correct to say inclusive rather than any other word that has been said previously. You know, let's let's expand it even to other minority groups like the gay and lesbian community and I don't know what other groups there are out there, but religious groups and whatever. Let's let's just use it as as something to to include everybody. Because let's face it, we're all human, we're all made of the same stuff. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on that.